He started with leg extensions, moved on to leg press, and then moved on to squats. Imagine reversing the order. Let's do a thought exercise together. C-bum instead does squats first, then leg press, then leg extension. How does that affect the quadriceps? Well, positively. The quads are the freshest and strongest when they're put in the compound movement, and then they're a little more tired. They get put into more isolation movement, but still quite compound. And then lastly, leg extensions, the quads are cooked. So from a raw stimulus magnitude perspective, superior way to train. Stimulus magnitude is not the only thing we're concerned with. We're concerned about fatigue and about mitigating injury risk. The probability that you get hurt with six plates on a side is like, yeah, like it's a chance. What is the probability that you're going to get hurt relative to that six plates hurt for three plates on a side? I mean, fuck, fuck, that's, that's half the load. It's all almost zero by Chris doing leg extensions, then leg presses, then squats magnifies his ability to reduce injury probability and minimizes the systemic axial and total fatigue, but still allows a crap load of crazy quad stimulation. 